Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Briefing. I am very, very sorry for the delay. This day has been a crazy one, but thank you for bearing with me. Sorry, the day has been what? A crazy one, you know. That's a good question. Uh, Let me see if I can get some more details on that for tomorrow. I, I don't have details on that. Okay. I'm happy to check. I, I have also a serious question, but not ISIS question. Okay. From yesterday, I asked about the 12 Syrian uh, women uh, who applied for visa to come here and yes. be part of the uh, play at Georgetown University, mm-hmm. and apparently they were rejected. Uh, do you have further explanation for this reason? Well, just a couple points. Uh, as you know, visa records are confidential. We cannot discuss individual cases. All applications are reviewed individually in accordance with our rules and regulations under the U.S. Immigration and Nationality Act. There's obviously a standard that people have to meet in general uh, to be given a visa of this nature. But in general, I think we should make the point about refugees here, that the United States resettles more refugees than the rest of the world combined, period. And I think our commitment to helping with resettlement of refugees is an important one that we take very seriously. So taking it broader, obviously I can't comment on this specific visa case. Uh, This is a commitment we take very seriously. The UNHCR just this year started referring Syrian refugees to the United States for processing. There's several thousand in process right now. It does take some time, given that it is, uh, again, a process, but this is uh, something we're very committed to doing. So, yes? How many they have referred and how many are in process? Yes. So I think all that they've referred, I think, are in the pipeline. There's several thousand Syrian nationals in the pipeline uh, at the moment. Wouldn't Assad be on that? that?